Guess who's going to work? This girl. Been inspired by Tara's world to become a professional dog walker. You got you guys are you're always telling me to get a job. I try not to take offense to it, but you're constantly telling me to get a job. I kind of did that. Uh, today's my first day as a dog walker. One of my favorite things to do in the entire world. What did I use this towel for? Did I just rub bathroom cleaner on my face? I love animals. I think it's very clear if you guys have watched this channel. I'm obsessed with my own animals. I'm an animal lover. What can I say? I'm actually so nervous. Do I just show up and take the dog? Wag ran a whole background check on me. They know I'm not a criminal. So people shouldn't be afraid to let me into their house. But it still feels wrong. Like if you're if you're not home when I'm entering into your house and taking your dog, that just seems illegal. But here we are, it's happening. I have two walks scheduled today. I'm going to walk people's dogs. Did I mention it's supposed to be 110 degrees today? People still want their dogs walked. I do have a portable water dispenser for dogs that I will be bringing with me to ensure that I don't have heat stroke under my care. I've also gained a little bit of weight recently and I need to exercise a little bit more. This entire situation is a win-win for both me and the dogs. I need to be a little bit more active. I've gained all of my not eating depression weight back. We're gonna walk it off. Don't wanna smell bad. If you watched my last video, I got my extensions taken out so I'm feeling really light. I walk Duncan all the time, so I, li I have nothing to be nervous about. It's just this dog is under your care. What if it gets mad or, I don't know, bites someone? Ew, it should be illegal. It took me forever to get approved on WAG. I applied for WAG maybe two or three weeks ago and I had given up all hope of becoming a WAG walker because I wasn't hearing anything back and I was just so confused because it said the background check would take two to four days and that sucker took a few weeks. I am feeling grateful to be a WAG walker. Tara, you are such a good influence. You are making, you're making people all around the world decide to help other dogs in need. Let's do it. Do you understand how humid it is? Look at the camera. This is the weather for my first walk with WAG. This is not sponsored by WAG, by the way. I'm so nervous. I'm walking a dog. It's so hot today. Whew. Come on, buddy. This is the definition of a hot girl walk. I'm a hot. I picked the hottest day of the year to become a dog walker. Why do my boobs look so big? I finished the walk like 30 minutes ago, so I'm gonna check my app and see what they had to say about me. That was so fun. That was the sweetest dog ever. He kept rolling over on his back and wanting me to scratch his belly. They said, Samantha was fantastic with Dakota. It's a heat wave, which makes it very hard to get your dog exercise. They made me their preferred client. Look at the achievement badges that I got. I got preferred clients, above and beyond, extra caring, great distance. That's right. These legs are made for running, and that's just what I'll do. She gave me a $4 tip. That was only a 20 minute walk, so it was $9.50, and then she gave me a $4 tip. So I made $13.50, which I just spent on this. I went to AutoZone and bought this Ultra Fuel System Cleaner. As you guys know, I just bought this car, and my check engine light's already on. I'm gonna try something to see if it'll fix it. I'm gonna go put premium gas in here, and put this in there and see if for some reason I just got like a bad batch of gas. I didn't think this car needed premium gas, but maybe it does. It doesn't say it does, but maybe she's special. Maybe she's picky. First walk complete. I deserve some caramel popcorn for that. Do we see that? Why are you doing this to me? That's the ghost of my Jeep coming to haunt my ass. Let's go try and fix our car. Right before I pulled away from the gas station, I was like, let me just take a sip of water. I spilled almost the entire water bottle all over me, so my pants are dripping wet. This person's letting me into their house. I'm not quite sure what to do. 
honestly, going on walks and walking all of these dogs and just moving my body and getting out of the house has been helping so much with my mental health. I filmed this video a while ago now and I've been able to lose a little bit of the weight that I had gained in this video. I had gained a lot of it just because of a lot of life events happening. I'm a food coper. I cope with food. I wasn't walking. I wasn't getting out of my house. I wasn't doing anything. I'm probably too transparent when it comes to mental health. I think it's really important to talk about it. Even if you think it's annoying and that it's all I talk about, I think it's really important. With that being said, today's video is sponsored by Men My Mental Health. With that being said, today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists that are trained to listen and to help you. You get to talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There is such a broad range of expertise and BetterHelp's over 20,000 plus therapist network and it just allows you to get help that might not be available in your area. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire that helps them assess your specific needs and then you my friend are going to get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. From there you can schedule like video calls, phone calls, you could even send them unlimited messages and everything that you do tell them is confidential. Sometimes the first therapist you meet is not the therapist for you so you can request a change in therapist at any time at no additional cost. Take charge of your mental health today and join the over 2 million people who have already done so using BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com backslash Samantha. I'll also have that linked below in the description box. Once again, a huge thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to walking the doggies and the deer and the bunny. I'm 10 minutes early. Should I tell them that I'm here? I'm really nervous. Like I'm really this is what the person said. He might be a little timid when you first walk in, but once you grab the leash, he should start to warm up to you. Need our headphones? I'm not even listening to music. I have too much anxiety to listen to music. This is just so people know not to mess with me. I'm pretty sure this dog is massive. I know it's rude to ask, but let's see if they listed his weight. I don't know, okay, but at, it's a big dog. Okay, I'm stressed. Let's just, let's walk him. He's, he's girthy. It's hot. Me and you both, bud. Me and you both. So my first day is done. It is hot outside. That last dog, I felt so bad for that last dog. He wanted absolutely nothing to do with that walk. And he was so scared when I got in there. I just sat there and I said, it's okay. I'm not in a rush. You can come to me when you're ready. In that voice exactly. And eventually he did. He came up to me and then he was so excited to go on his walk. I'm home and I'm in desperate need of a shower. So first day was a success. I think I'm like, I think I'm like $39 richer. And that was only for 50 minutes of walking. $40 an hour. Wag walking day two. I only walked two miles yesterday and I woke up this morning and my shins are crying. My mom is flying in to visit me today and she gets in at 1 p.m. My first walk is at 9.30. I have another walk at 11.30 and I have a drop-in visit at 12.15. So, let's see what we can make today. This is fun. I mean, I don't know. The confidence I'm feeling compared to yesterday, I'm unstoppable today. Good morning. <laughs> if you need me, I'm gonna be wag walking. Again. I'm on my way. I'm starting earlier today. It's 9.30. I'm on my way. I woke up this morning and I had myself a little yogurt parfait to fuel me for my walks. I brought an energy drink. I'm gonna need this because I don't know what part of me woke up and decided to be an overachiever today. The walk that I'm currently headed to is for two dogs at one time. I don't know how I'm qualified for this. I've walked multiple dogs before, but they were my dogs. Things I'm doing differently today, uh, wearing sunscreen. I forgot to wear sunscreen yesterday. Hey, okay, you're an ass. What is the people's driving today? Let's say this was your only job. You could make decent money doing this if you live in a city that's like kind of populated. I extended my range out to 30 miles for the sake of this video. I want to be able to have things to film for this. I also have a lot going on this week, which is like, why did I choose this week? I don't know. But it's my first week on the job. Like, I can't not share it with you. Uh. Also, one of the dogs that I'm walking today is a reoccurring dog from yesterday. That means they liked how I walked him. Yesterday, I put in the effort to make sure I was going the distances. The first dog that I walked was sniffing everything. It was really curious about like the environment around him. And he, we weren't making very good distance. It had been 14, 15 minutes and we had gone all of a half a mile and we weren't gonna be making it very much farther. I only had five more minutes left and I knew that one of the things they grade you on is like your distance and how far you go. I'm already a little bit insecure that someone might see a bigger person show up to walk their dog and be like, you aren't able to walk. I don't know, that's childhood trauma. I wanted to prove that like, I can get your dog the distance. So what did I do? I ran. 
I, Samantha Joe, ran with this dog. That way the distance would stay a little bit farther. And I think we ended up going a mile. Bad bitch. And the dog that I ran for is the dog that came back for more. So, the place that I'm driving to right now is 15 miles away, which might be like too far for you, but you can lower the distance. I just cannot think of a better way to get your hot girl walks in, and you get to put puppies, and you get paid for it. If you don't like dogs, this is the worst job ever. You shouldn't do it. Let's go walk these dogs. So far, it's a lot less hot today. I think it's only 90. And the sun isn't out, the pavement isn't hot. We're ready to go. 11 minutes into a 30 minute walk. These two dogs are angels. You guys are our chef's kiss. In the description, they said that they like to run with the walker. I just would like to specify, I am a walker, not a runner. In case you didn't believe me, I am a track star. They want a runner, they're gonna get a runner. No, 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 no. I did not wear a running bra. Was that zoomed in? It's 11.23. We're on walk number two of the day. This is the dog that I walked yesterday, so I'm really excited. He was very sweet. You're the cutest. Let's go, buddy. This whole area is like uphill, and I'm trying to find a way around that. Can you see the incline? Tell them how inclined it is. My calves are so tight right now. Are you going poop? I got bags. This one's easy. This one's easy. All I gotta do is pick up poop and let them play. This is my first drop-in visit. I could not find their house, so I was a little stressed out. But we're here, we found it. Life of a wag walker. Day three of wag walking. My, my shins and my calves have never hurt like this in my entire life. I'm lubing up with this Monistat taping gel. It is really hot out there today. I can't do pants today. I gotta wear shorts, so you gotta, pro gotta protect the inner thighs in short weather. I had no idea if I was gonna even count today or not because I only have one walk booked, which is lazy. I can do more than one walk. But my mom is here and I didn't want to spend the entire day walking dogs and not hanging out with her. So, walking outfit. I already took Duncan on a walk today too, so. Technically my second walk of the day, but I don't get paid to walk my dog. When it's hot, we walk in the grass. Right, Abbott? <laughs> this is the other half of day 2.5. This is me making up for it. It is 1024 and I signed up to walk a dog. Well, I signed up to walk two very cute dogs, if they're real, at 1030. Here's the thing. WAG does not vet the people asking for the service. They only vet me. So I could be walking into quite a debacle. So Samantha is here in the car. I told her that if she doesn't hear from me, because the instructions were to go get the dogs and bring them out and like walk them down the street, make sure they go pee and poop. So I should be coming out of this house pretty quickly with these dogs. And I said, if you don't see me come out, I'm bringing Mace. People that, like, I'm really sorry, if these are your dogs and you're like, girl, I'm a little nervous. If I send you four texts and you don't respond, I'm calling four. Them. Well, I have sleep mode on. Maybe I should turn that off. You should. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're going in. I didn't film a damn thing with those dogs. Let me tell you, they were the sweetest little puppies. I did not die, but because they were so sweet, also I made like 20 bucks, so add that to the change jar. Because they were so sweet, I was like, this is so easy. Let me see what else they have. And I found another one. This, but this one's a walk, not just a drop in. All I had to do was let them outside and like play with them a little bit. Um, so we're at the next dog's apartment. We're gonna go on a walk. Maybe this is the vibe. We just grind at night. A few moments later. None of this is a good idea. I don't recommend, if you're gonna do wag, probably should do it during the day. I have pepper spray. I didn't sign up for stairs though. Walkie, 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 walkie. See, everything's fine. Take a wag walk at night. Bring a friend as long as they don't touch the leash. That's what I Googled. Nice meeting you out I'm here. Just the bodyguard. Hi! Oh my goodness, hello! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hi! Oh, hello! full-time job so far I've noticed that doing wag like gives me a sense of purpose not that I don't have another job like YouTube is always my job but this holds me accountable like if I don't show up there's a little dog that doesn't get to go on a walk goose wouldn't that upset you also because of my job and what my job is I'm usually just like sitting at a computer 
or just standing in front of a camera. This helps me move my body and like do stuff during the day. And yesterday I met a deer. The deer that I met yesterday booked me for three more visits. This is the best job ever. On our newest edition of Taking Care of Animals on Wag that aren't dogs, I present Oatmeal the Bunny. Hi, Oatmeal. Look at him monched on that lettuce I gave him. I only bring the goods. What's up, Doc? Oh, the cinematic. I bet when you clicked on this video, you did not think you would be watching a rabbit eat lettuce in cinematic mode from an iPhone, but here we are. Oh, I never thought I'd be petting a bunny. Me and oatmeal. Here you go. Hello. Oh, ha, you know there's a camera, huh? How are you? And the crowd goes wild. Woo! 